Hello, my dear friends of electronics. My name is Laurent Völkel, and I invite my colleague, Ralph Regenhold, to make some measurement on our magic power modules to see how it works in real environment. We have 24 volt input, 5 volt output, 1 amp. We have an electronic load. And Ralph, I want to see on this module if it's worked properly and, and correctly. How is the signal on a switching node? But my problem is that now we have the inductor molded inside of this uh, package. How can I reach that uh, measurement? Because do I need to make a hole now in, in this module or what? Please don't make a hole in our power module. Um, there is another way to actually probe uh, the switch node without destroying the power module. So the trick is to take an oscilloscope probe without the ground connection, just put it on top of the package and then you look at the oscilloscope and then you see the switch node as a perfectly shaped rectangular waveform. Well, for this purpose, I will switch on the power source. That's a good idea. Wow, that looks great. A perfect rectangle signal, 507 kilohertz, 508 kilohertz switching. Excellent, I did not expect that. So, let's have a look at the effect of changing the switching frequency. Correct. So I turn off the power supply again, change the jumper on the R on resistor, turn on my power supply and probe the switch node again. Okay, now it's changed, 237, 36 kilohertz, yeah, that's great. Still looks nice and works excellent. Yeah, so this is a very simple functional check of a power module in general if it regulates stable. No oscillations on the switch. No change, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Now let's look at the output voltage ripple. Yes, but at 500 kilohertz. Yes, correct. Now we want to measure the ripple uh, of the output voltage. We take an oscilloscope probe, uh, but what is not possible to use is a standard probe connection with this kind of ground connection and this this kind of top. Yeah, this would inject. Don't use that. This crocodiles, this pigtails is yeah. not good for that. This would inject too much noise, and we are measuring only 10 millivolts of right. ripple. So we have another means of doing that. We put a special uh, ground connection on top of the probe. Use the springs. The spring, which give us a, a very low. Uh, possibility for noise to inject yeah. and we go across the output put first the 500 kilohertz maybe okay let's go on 500 kilohertz switching frequency okay and attach it to the last output capacitor let's have a look at the signal Eleven millivolts maximum. So that's a very, very low output voltage noise or output voltage ripple. Excellent. Now let's have a look at the effect of a lower switching frequency on the output voltage ripple. Turn off the input, change the R on resistor, turn on again, and probe the last output capacitor. Forty-three millivolt at one hundred ninety ninety-one kilohertz. Excellent. Forty-two instead of eleven. Mm -hmm. That's a so, big improvement. So you see the big effect of a low switching frequency on the output voltage ripple. Correct. So thank you, Ralph, for your time and for your explanation. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Please watch my next videos and see you next time. Bye bye.